Okay, here is the front of the house, and here is the street. It's a nice street in Arbor Lodge. Chief Joseph's is the elementary school, which is a highly rated one. Down there is Willamette uh, Boulevard. It's got a metal roof on it, um, and then aluminum siding. It's got this little wisteria is beautiful. So lots of glass French doors, which are nice. The majority of the windows are original. The kitchen does have a new um, window. So here's there's built-in speakers too. Wood burning fireplace. Here's the front. And Kyle just texted and asked specifically for a horizontal horizontal video. You little high maintenance <laughs> jerk. There we go. <laughs> will it show? I wonder if it'll show. Kyle, I'm wondering if this will show horizontal or if it will show. You're going to have to watch it that way or something. Okay, so here's bedroom number one. There are two bedrooms downstairs. This most people have used as a dining room. Um, but it does, it looks like it had French doors at some point. Um, here's the closet. Here, I'm gonna, uh, there's a hallway that you can get to through the kitchen as well as the living room. Um, so we've got bathroom, which is really cute. Period tile, tub shower surround, window over the backyard. And then bedroom number two on the main. It's right here, nice size, good light for floors. Closet with some built-ins. Uh, linen closet in the hallway here. Kitchen. It's got this little oops, uh, kind of eat-in area that they've done or extra storage. So original cabinets, but updated countertops, appliances, this hood vents out, uh, subway, um, backsplash, here's another refrigerator. And then this is the door to go upstairs. Okay, so carpet going upstairs, steep, but not crazy steep. Skylight. So this they've made into a master. Um, ceilings are a little bit lower than some, but definitely you're not gonna have a problem standing up. And then two kind of connecting closets here. Oh, actually they don't connect. Okay, so that one shelves. This one is a closet. And they're just counting this as one bedroom up here, but you could actually have pee up here for a while too. So here's more of a little walk-in closet. And there is a door here. And then here is the other area which they've staged like as a office area. Let's see if there's insulation. Yeah, it looks like they do have a decent amount of insulation down. I'll call you in. <laughs> These contractors are working next door. Okay, so down the stairs. A little mini dishwasher. And then around to the basement. Has updated 200 amp panel, high efficiency gas furnace. Um, here is where they've done laundry. It looks like PEX uh, plumbing for most of the plumbing that I can see. And then down there is the water heater and the furnace, which are accessed through this other closet. A little nook over here, which you could do a desk on or something. 
And then a family room down here that has, uh, looks like built-in speakers and stuff as a media room. Good size. Here is the door for the furnace and then also some extra storage. Um, we've got like water line and stuff here. And 200 amp panel, which is permitted in 99. Again, original windows down here. Now bring you to the backyard and so it's over here. Uh oh, more storage like under the stairs. And then we've got a detached garage right here. So here's the side driveway. The lot is an oversized lot. It's a beautiful backyard. And it goes onto an alley. And so here's a separate shed that he's using as a workshop. Pretty jam full, full, but it's definitely being used as a workshop. So that's nice because you can actually have parking for the car and have a workshop. Again, here's the yard. I think this is a great house. I would absolutely make an offer on this house. And I like a side yard over there that they have the wood for the fireplace. <laughs> 